alcoholism. It's a slow restart. I always feel it's a shame when people relapse. The issue is that alcohol is everywhere, isn't it? Here? Yeah. Hello, it's the ambulance service. Oh. Try your best. Oh. My name's Cameron, this is Kira. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I was... Yeah, Don't you... worry. I had a bag on head on Sunday and it won't go away. Can I do a few checks as Cameron's talking to you, Janine? Just your blood pressure and stuff. So you fell on Sunday, was it? I must have had a blackout so on a concrete floor. Quack, wow. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a long time, isn't it, to still have an headache? Was it five days? Four. Can I have a look at your head? I oh, can't see any redness or anything, or any welling, or anything like that. If something serious had occurred, we probably would be seeing symptoms by bad. now. What other medical problems do you have? You're alcohol dependent. Am I, am I right in saying that? I were. I went into rehab on 15th of November. I came out on the 8th of December. Been clean for three months. Mm. And then I had a drink on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I feel sick. I haven't slept. But it's just there all the time. Mental torture, isn't it? Yeah. You're in recovery still, aren't you? Yeah. Do you think you're slipping down that slope again? I don't want to drink. I want to wash my clothes, I want to get well. But it's like a self-sabotaging, you're yeah. self-loathing. Oh, why am I doing this? Thing? You know, I played cello, I played guitar, I went to university, and then ended up losing everything. I ended up in this flat. Mum, Dad, I drank on grief. Mm. I drank on anger. And it's just like... Spiralling, isn't it? Did you have much talk in therapy, or was it more medical? I probably spoke to you guys today more than I have there. Let's do a referral for you. I think you need therapy and I think you need it pretty quick. I'll be honest, I don't think it's the bang on the head that's making you feel unwell. It's the alcohol. I feel sick all the time. What's in there? Cold coffee. Mm. Do you want me to make you a warm one? I'll make a good brew. Kira, have you got the keys? Yeah. I'll be two minutes. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in this job. There is a lot of emotional things and sad things that you see. And when you have that in your personal life as well, suddenly it becomes crippling to be in work. So I had to take an extended period off work. And then in that time, I developed quite a, a bad relationship with alcohol. I was in this spiral of grief and unhappiness. A few cans of beer then became, you know, a bottle of wine, a bottle of spirits. And it's so easy to go down the drain hole. It's so easy to be hooked. Alcoholism, it's a slow freestyle. I mean, eventually your organs fail, your liver will pack in, your kidneys end up failing, or you have a big bleed somewhere in your stomach and things like well, that. Well, I've been throwing up blood yesterday. I didn't tell you that, did I? No. That changes things a little bit. Let's wait for Cameron to come back up. She's uh, had hematemesis. Right. Well, luckily for you, I've got uh, an anti-sickness here. No okay. care. Chop scratch. Ah, it's gonna work. Bloody hell. It's be worth it. Is this the first relapse you've had? Yeah. I wanna get well. You bob this coat, Tom. Is there anything else you wanna take? You looking after me some well, because that's what my job is. I'll get you there. When I was off work, I drank a heck of a lot of alcohol took my partner, Hannah, to basically give my head a wobble and tell me to speak to the doctor. Hannah was then the driving force to me getting better. It took a long time, but I managed to get me back. And I think it's helped me become the paramedic that I am today. It's using your moment of suffering to help other people. We need to get you better, get you back on track. 